Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming back to me. I appreciate you. Before we get into the film reaction, please subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and remember by becoming a patron over on Patreon, the highest tier, that is the platinum honey patron gets you a film reaction request every month every other tier has its benefit they all get reactions so please head over there and um join us please join us <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look at a movie called hidden figures from 2016 it was requested by scott rooney Thank you so much, my darling. Thank you for being a patron, you and your honey. I appreciate both of you so much. Thank you so, so, so much for being part of my world and for the many movies you've introduced me to. Um, I'm still getting off the high of guests who's coming to dinner and I just, well, that movie was incredible, right? It was incredible to see what was going on back then with um, interracial relationships and just the thoughts and the difficulties emotionally, not only for the couples, but I know I'm going back, but anytime after that, I went around, like tell, I've told all my friends about it, that they should just, they, it's a movie that everyone should watch, right? Because uh, it's a movie everyone should watch, right? The love story is there, but also the, the element with regards to the family and how they were involved in watching their children make these decisions that could put their lives at risk you know it's a beautiful movie anyway we're gonna watch hidden figures from 2016 it's my first time watching and i hope we both enjoy we all enjoy <laughs> prime 18 prime isosceles scalene tetrahedron why don't you solve the equation on the board? Oh my God. We took up a collection amongst the teachers. Kind, Miss Sonnet. Then common sense says at least one of the two terms has to be zero to start with. To the teacher, the teacher. In all my years of teaching, I have never seen a mind like the one your daughter has. It's like 35 years. Okay, trying to turn it over now. Somebody! Catherine, quit staring off in the space and... Yeah. The woman is doing the car from beneath. We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk to work every day. You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do neither. I'll hitchhike. Button it up, Mary. Nobody wants to go to jail behind your mouth. Not a great place for three y'all be having car trouble. We're just on our way to work at Langley. I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. Women, is that, is that what he wanted to see? Is he looking into the sky? What is he Damn doing? Russians are watching us right now. Sputniks. But those gentlemen all the time. Those boys are the best we got. I'm sure that. Right, right. Uh, what, y'all need a tow or something? No, thank you, officer. I, I think I got all set. Well, hell, least I can do is give y'all an escort. I imagine you're running late to work. Oh, no, so we wouldn't want to bother that you. That would be wonderful, officer. Three Negro women are chasing a white police officer down the highway in Hampton, Virginia, 1961. Ladies, that there is a God-ordained miracle. <laughs> <laughs> so they work with NASA. Chanushka is ready to go again. Damn dog and a damn mannequin. Paul Stafford, our lead engineer, Mr. Webb. I think what he meant to... Dangerous? You know what's dangerous, Mr. Stafford? We can't justify a space program that doesn't put anything in space. No, he didn't look enlightened, man. And just so you know, he's not wrong about what he said in there. You know that, right? I imagine there's two. Where, where's the machine? Any day now, Mr. Harrison. Any day now. Yes, sir. What's it called? 
The initials? The IBM. The international business machine. Single person in this entire building that can handle analytic geometry? Three? That's what I've been told. Yeah. Well, tell me something else, Ruth, like we're going to find such a person before the Russians plant a flag on the damn moon. You want to be the first to do it. But the Russians sort of beat them. They want to be the first human to put the hu a man in the moon. But the Russians ha had already put a dog and ladies, a man in Ladies, if you're tired and you don't get an assignment, if you don't get an assignment, you don't have a job. Mary. Present. The Mercury 7 prototype has arrived for testing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Mary. All right, Miss Late. You will also be supporting the East Group. Space test group needs a computer, ASAP. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. Mrs. Mitchell, if I could. Well, the official word is no. Oh. They're not assigning a permanent supervisor for the color group. I'm doing the work of a supervisor. Well, that's NASA for you. Fast with rocket ships, slow with advancement. So they're giving you the work, but they're not giving you the title and probably not the pay either. You know? Are they all in heels? Because I keep wondering, like, when you're working, anyway, I just, why did I assume they should be wearing pants and sneakers? Engineers, you know what I mean? Like heels, co -co 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 -co, everywhere in the office, it's kind of... Five, four. Wasn't I just saying something about shoes? As if my mind told me you could hear it clank on the thing. Shut it down. But the friction, it is under during re entry. Coupled with rising temperature on re entry, the contact softens. There is another opening in the engineer training program. Flathead rivets would reduce wind drag. Mary, a person with engineer's mind should be an engineer. You can't be a computer the rest of your life. I'm a Negro woman. I'm not going to entertain the impossible. I think we can say we are living the impossible. Yes. I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. You'll write research, proof calculation, and so forth. Come on, keep up. Things move fast around here. Your clearance. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. Don't mind her. You can't do it. Go inside. This wasn't empty last night. I'm sorry, I'm not the... So this wasn't empty last night. You can imagine. They automatically thought she was here for the grab. Do your work. Keep your head down. Thank you. Paul, why are we still losing shingles off the heat shield? Paul, if the heat shield comes off, what do you think happens to our Ashley? Ruth, what's the status on that computer? She's right behind you, Mr. Harrison. On that computer, they come Does she handle the analytic computer. geometry? Which one? Both. Geometry and speaking. Using the gram Fourth Schmidt. organization algorithm? Yes, sir. I prefer it over Euclidean coordinates. And I'm also going to ask you to check Mr. Stafford's math as well as others on this floor from time. Shingles wouldn't be flying off the heat already. shield now, would they? Right now, exactly. So she has to check the math of everybody in there. Ah! Asking us questions about our work. I think that's pretty reasonable given we're putting a human. It's going to matter to their wives. And America's greatest engineering and scientific minds. Good. So let's have an amen, damn it. Amen. 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 My numbers are spot on. I'm not going to be and able work to. Work on what you can read. The rest is classified. You don't have clearance. May I ask where the ladies' room is? Sorry, I have no idea where your bathroom is. Where's the bathroom that she uses? This woman. What's her name? It, Ruth. Isn't she Ruth? So, oh, they have separate bathrooms. They have. Go and use it. Go and use it. Who cares? 
I'm sorry, where is she going? Breaks now? She's not on a break. She was looking for a washroom. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a joke. Stop it right now. I will use their own washroom. Arrest me. What's the worst that can happen? They'll arrest me for using the bathroom within the office. End of the day. The end of the day around here was yesterday. Yes, she's taking coffee. Oh my God. Ooh, please, this is. Ooh. Ooh. And Stafford's heat shield calx. That's right, so you can throw that in the trash. Excuse me? If I said I was sorry, I'd be saying it all day. For answers to questions we don't even know to ask. Math that doesn't yet exist. In my mind, I'm already there. Because I don't need another smart girl with an adding machine. Go. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Yes, you can go. All that work she did, you put it in the trash. She's the last person to go. You put all the work she's doing. And that evil one, what's his name? Paul. That marked out half the information she would need to do her work say you're not classified how would you how would she do the arithmetic if it's us she's in a mood i haven't been late one day in 10 years haven't been out sick haven't complained my work's on time it's done right it's done well it's not fair that's a fact What's not fair is having the responsibility of a supervisor, but not the title or the pay. Exactly. Watch exactly what I on. said. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, please. You're better with the numbers than anyone in there, Catherine, and you know it. Have some respect. Get your damn feet off my dashboard. This isn't your living room. <laughs> Turn that music up. <laughs> Good night, ladies. Bye. See you in the morning. I was fixing to call the National Guard. It's a promotion? might be a slight promotion thank you mama <laughs> i like your lipstick too are they girl. asleep yet they love you this is no, my get bed oh, no, uh, no. constance kathy sit so whoever sleeps in that bed enjoy let's place hey never mind yeah she's not so terrible to share with <laughs> You're supposed to been sleep a long time ago we just wanted to say good night I know, I work a full-time job now. You all know that. He's with the angels. Yes, he's mm -hmm. with all the angels. Yes, yes Mama. Mama. Oh, Y'all get some rest, okay? Mama? It means uh, you practice safety just in case. I'm going to do what I can to help those brave men get there. Yes, I am. You can fly up to space if you wanted to, Mama. You can be an astronaut. Did you draw this? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Come here. All right, now this time we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> Praise God that change to the good Reverend Dr. King. Amen. Working on rocket ships. <laughs> and we have National Guardsmen defending our freedom. Give a shout of praise for Colonel Jim Johnson. Turning home by the grace of God to set up a National Guard unit. I saw them look at each other. I heard about that protest that students were sitting at counters and they had to be dragged out. Understand it. It's not like that there, Levi. You can't apply for freedom. Freedom is never granted. I don't want any green. Hey, I'll tell you about interrupting. Here, try this, baby. Unless you want this female's mind right here in front of everybody. NASA's never ever given you guys your due. Having a couple extra degrees ain't gonna change. No lip little miss. Your brother gets them and so do you. Well, that's good for him. Catherine, go find your way over there. Oh. And I bet he's like that day and night. Mary? 
I think he's smiling over here. Hey, you. <laughs> no, I'm not smiling back. Oh, yes, child, you are all teeth right well, now. I am not. <laughs> Mayor is waving at him. No, that is, I'm not it's ready. Too late. Fix your hair. Hello, oh, Colonel. I'm Dorothy Vaughn. That's Mary Jackson. I believe you met her husband. This guy's in yes, blue. Blue, blue, remember? And this is Catherine Goble. Excuse me. <laughs> you already have a slice uh -huh. of pie, Dorothy. <laughs> Just uh, fixing my three babies some Let plates. Let me help you. We calculate the mathematics necessary to enable launch and landing for the space program. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty heady stuff. Yes, it is. They let women handle that sort of taxing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, I will have you know, I was the first Negro female student at West Virginia University Graduate School. On any given day, I analyzed the manometer levels for air displacement, friction, and velocity. There are 20 bright, highly capable Negro women in the West computing. They let women do some things at NASA, Mr. Johnson. Oh, baby, baby. And it's not because we wear skirts. It's not too long. They don't know how easy it is to sound condescending. I'm sure he didn't mean it that way, right? He didn't mean a negative connotation. He's truly surprised because at that time, women didn't handle this amount of brain work, at, at least he thought, in his world, right? Look at the way they keep the white women and the black women. Wow. That's Alan Shepard, U.S. Navy, all under 5'11", 180 pounds. IQ's over 130. Mm. And handsome must be a requirement, too. How could you possibly be ugly in these white men? Oh, it's equal rights. I have the right to see fine in every color. <laughs> and that's John Glenn. He's the only Marine Corps pilot. We haven't shaken all the hands yet. We have a fairly tight itinerary, Colonel. Louis B. is fine. Seems to be in a big rush around here. Well, the Russians certainly are slowing down. And Therese, launch and landing. Well, you can't get anywhere without the numbers. No, sir. Mary Jackson, Mr. Glenn. Engineering, and I'm proud as the devil to be working with you. I'm proud of Thank you, Mary. John, I'm gonna take it inside, sir. Guys, that was nice of you. That was nice of you, John. Thank you. Mr. Harrison wants you to confirm launch and landing for the Redstone rocket test. Self. This is more or less a dummy check. A dummy check. You should better go meet Al and tell him the way you're being treated. You better. Okay. Atlas study. Oh, you can see through it a little bit. No one thought to measure these things? I'm afraid not, sir. Use the, use the big hammer. Yes, sir. Come on, use the big hammer. You heard the man. Let's go. Our runner can pick up your work, Dorothy. You can take that batch over there. Sure thing, Mrs. Mitchell. It's called an IBM, a mainframe machine. Apparently, it can do our calculations in a fraction of the time. I guess that's good for NASA. Well, now, best if you do it in one trip. Are you sure they won't take your diagram and... Are you sure they won't take your diagram and steal it from you? Is that correct? Yeah. I said, whose work is that? How did you know the Redstone couldn't support orbital flight? That's classified information. Numbers don't lie. And you figured all that out with this? The distance from launch to orbit, we know. Redstone mass, we know. Mercury capsule weight. And how do you know about the Atlas rocket? That's not math. That data's not here, like you said. It's classified. I held it up to the light. You held it up to the light? Yes, sir. Well, there it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Atlas. Mm -hmm. 
Idiot. What's your name? Catherine. She's been there for the... Am I what? I said, are you a Russian spy? No, sir. What's the issue, Paul? You heard her. She's not a spy. I, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Uh, you know what I think is a good idea? Darker ink. <laughs> Think of them looking bitter and angry on the day you gave her a different teacup maybe it was your coffee that's making her slow down now that she has her own jug the fire was lit you can probably get to the moon and back with this just not the bathroom learn all we can make ourselves valuable well, she must be lost nasa doesn't commission females for the engineer training program well, we now require advanced extension courses through the University of Virginia. They move to the finish line. I just follow the rules around here, and I expect... For those that cannot attend classes at the University of Virginia, advanced extension courses are available at the Hampton High School. That's still a segregated school, Mary. Virginia acts like Brown versus Board of Education never happened. They are never going to allow a colored woman to just take classes at an all-white school. Well, sounds about right. That's all you're going to say. Well, I'm not going to sit here all day and listen to you complain about the way things are. We're trying to play cards. Petition the court. Fight for what you want, but quit talking about it. Deal me in. <laughs> Catherine. Come on. Oh, no. Right here. you? I can't. She drank it all. <laughs> listen, I'm fine. Come on, Cat. Let's dance. Come on, dance with Catherine. Come on. We're going to teach you how to get a man. Right. Teach me. Oh. Come on. You got to know how to dance. We don't want any trouble in here. Excuse me? Oh, I'm not here for any trouble, ma'am. What are you here for? A book. You have books in the colored section? It doesn't have what I'm looking for. Well, that's just the way it is. Don't I? You know better Get than this. Get your hands off my boys. Don't touch them. Just because it's the way doesn't make it right. Understand? You took that book, Mama? Son, I pay taxes. And taxes pay for everything in that library. You can't take something you already paid for. <laughs> Fortran is a new and exciting language. Everybody smile. Aww. Everybody smile. Aww. I'll say. Howard must have invited him. Mm. I owe you an apology. I'll make it while we dance. She doesn't know how to dance. I'm afraid I simply misspoke the other day, Mrs. Gobel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was hoping you'd allow me to start over. <laughs> you one tough customer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Underestimating you. And any other woman like you. Though I don't imagine there's many. has announced that Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin has become the first man in space. Gagarin completed one full orbit around the planet in 108 minutes. Stay tuned to the station for more details as they become available. Fuel into orbit at 607 UTC, re-entering Russian airspace. Let's go. He is also confirmed... Let's learn how to fly to space. First Soviet astronaut. I know it's late, and after what I just saw, I'm sure everyone's probably anxious to just go home. How in the hell did we find ourselves in second place in a two-man race? I think that is because I refuse to believe that the Russians are smarter than us or that they have... Is it possible that it actually means more to them? I just saw seven faces who aren't sure that we can get there. There's only two things you need to know going forward. One is staying here, working late, that's going to be a fact of life. And two, don't expect your paychecks to reflect the extra time it's going to take to catch up and pass those bastards. For those of you who can't work that way, I understand, and thank you for what you've done. Tell them how it's going to be. Let's start with mine. And 
of the day. Okay. Sir, it might be the selector lounge. I'm taking a walk. We're honored to serve our country, so we don't think about danger. They didn't know how to, they knew how to set it up, but they didn't know how to. College seats are at the back of the courtroom. Thank you, ma'am. So, which one of you wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that book you were reading? Yes, Fortran, the language of the computer. So, are you kidding me? She was teaching herself about a computer she hadn't used. How did she know the textbook to? 90 data processing system. It has the capability of solving over 24,000 multiplications per second. Holy Moses, that's lightning fast. They'll never get that to work. No. <laughs> Unless she'd rather be out of a job. No. Oh, man. Man. oh my God. And she's teaching the t her team. Oh my God. How amazing is she? Dave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Goosebumps. Goosebumps all over me. Oh. Using the washer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where the hell have you been? Everywhere I look, you're not where I need you to be. To the bathroom, sir. To the bathroom. To the damn bathroom. For 40 minutes a day? What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. Skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch! Excuse me if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. Wherever you damn well, please. Preferably closer to your desk. Here at NASA, we all pay the same color. She really, she really spoke into that scene. Like, I, goosebumps just rose from, I, I had to hold myself. I work like a dog. I have to, you don't pay colored people enough to wear pearls. Because remember when she was starting her job, they told her, Mitchell told her that, 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 um, I was looking for the name. I wrote it down that she could only wear a sweater and per a string of pearls, something, something. And she was like, you don't even pay me enough to wear pearls. You don't pay me. You don't pay me enough. She, 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 she can you imagine running 40 minutes? So it said it's 40 minutes. Let's assume it takes you five minutes to 10 minutes to relieve yourself. So she's doing a 15 minute toe to the toilet, 15 minutes back on foot running under the rain sun running because she has to get back and this is her running oh that's why it's 15 minutes she said he, he said that she was away for 40 minutes from a cup drinking from a, a jug none of you want to touch the insult they they put it there labeled it they went through that stress of labeling it didn't manage to even put tea in it or coffee or whatever they were drinking. Coffee. To refill it for her, no. Even that stupid woman, Ruth, 
isn't that her the assistant uh, i don't know which what where your washroom is that was not the question she said where can i relieve myself point highly that she, ah this is a bad thing ah. <laughs> So degrading. <clears throat> Dear Lord, thank you for this meal. We ask that you bless this. Look at the girls. Their eyes are open. <laughs> the mom cut them. <laughs> Picked up by the men of the USS Lake Champlain. Set out for this. Any day now, Capcom. Fix your little problem and light this candle. Moving to final countdown sequence. Roger that. We're at T minus 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. Pitch 88, trajectory is good. For the sorry? eye of the world, that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, because there is new knowledge to be gained, and new rights, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Uh, Gus Grissom's up next. Another suborbital flight with a redstone. Yes, and I imagine he'd like us to have the math worked out beforehand. You know how in law school they don't say ladies and they say gentlemen as a general, both female and male, because it's the. But now. Like, I think it's high time I kissed you, Gaffney. Hmm? <laughs> oh. Why is that? Figured you attracted to me, same as out of you. Okay. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, you'd have told me to get going a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Haven't kissed a man in a long time. Almost forgot how to. I love how gentlemanly, like the FBI has arrested four white permission. men accused of throwing a firebomb into a Freedom Rider bus outside of Anniston, Alabama. The kids don't need to be watching they this. They need to see this. Well, when we got off the bus in Birmingham, everybody needs to see this. Took me and forced me out of the door and threw me into the crowd. Mary Jackson, petition to attend courses at Hampton High School. Hampton High School is a white school, Mrs. Jackson. Supreme Court says our law is the law. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, sir. May I approach your bench, sir? Your Honor, you of all people should understand the importance of being first. The first to attend university, George Mason, and the first state judge to be recommissioned by three consecutive governors. What's the point? The point is, Your Honor, no Negro woman in the state of Virginia has ever attended an all-white high school. It's unheard of. Yeah, unheard of. But well, you will be the first. And before Alan Shepard sat on top of a rocket, the first to touch the stars. Oh. Uh -huh. And I, sir, I plan on being an engineer at NASA but I can't do that without taking them classes at that all-white high school. And I can't change the color of my skin. Your Honor, out of all the cases you're gonna hear today, which one is gonna matter a hundred years from now? Which one is gonna make you the first? Only the night classes, Mrs. Jackson. Only the night classes. Oh my God, my chest. <laughs> Oh my God, my chest. I'm feeling it in my chest, you guys. Ooh. I'm Catherine. Ooh. Uh, do you have any idea what you're asking? An orbital launch with an Atlas rocket is going to take time. I was wondering. Uh huh. Well, I've been wondering my whole life, so you just. I would like to get a jump on John Glenn's trajectory. It's like shooting a sawed-off shotgun from a thousand feet and getting that one BB through a hole so tiny you can't even okay, see it. I'm an excellent shot, sir. How about Grissom numbers, Ben? 
They've been spot on. Computers don't author reports. Capcom, this is Liberty Bell 7. Loud and clear. Liberty Bell 7, this is Hope 1. Liberty Bell 7 capsule is taking... Fortunately, the Liberty Bell 7 capsule is lost. Mr. Harrison, taxpayer money sank in the ocean along with your capsule. It will always come with a risk. I think the bigger question for this body to consider is who do you want calling the shots in space? We have to know what's out there, Senator. We'll get John Glenn home safely because we have to. The Redstone rocket went straight up, but the capsule didn't have enough speed to go into orbit. So now, the Atlas rocket, that can push us into orbit. Now, getting it back down, that's the math we don't, that's right. Slowing it down at precisely the right moment. Yes, Catherine. So it needs to move from an elliptical orbit. We bring him in too soon. He burns up on re-entry. That's right. We bring him in too late. He's pushed out of Earth's gravity. And any changes to mass, weight, speed, time, distance, friction, or puff of wind. So we need to be able to choose this re-entry point. Uh, Pentagon briefing should illuminate where the Navy needs the recovery zone. What, Catherine? If I could attend the briefings, I'd be more useful to the project. Then so just calculate with what you have, or we'll find Ooh, someone who can. Rather than you just put her in the meeting, this one is busy learning the IBM with no, and training her people. Oh my God, how fantastic. This is the one I admire so much. And hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't be in here. Who are you? I'm with the West. Uh-huh. Bill, we've got numbers. What's your name again? Dorothy Vaughn. Dorothy Vaughn. And you have staff. When did this happen? Six minutes ago. The math is changing. Start over. Sir. Women. There's a protocol for a man circling the earth either, sir. Okay. You know, that is just the way things are. Can you go to Al? Can we skip over your manager and go to the supervisor? Or not even the senior manager? Paul Stafford. What's the point? You're the one doing the work. Fix it. Those are my calculations. My name should be on That is not the way this works. Fast. The capsule changes. The weight and the landing zones are all changing every day. And why is it she can't attend? Because she doesn't have clearance, Al. I cannot do my work. Pentagon briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel like I'm the best person to present my calculations. You're not going to let this go, are you? No, I am not. You, and, and she is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman okay, attending Okay, I get meetings. that part, Paul. She is a woman. But within and... these walls, who, uh... You keep quiet. Thank you. Good morning. Gentlemen. This is Catherine Goble with our trajectory and launch window division. We have a confirmed launch window. Get her a chair, please. 20 miles square is what we can service for retrieval. Outside of that, with all due respect, our capsule's being altered daily. Catherine, answer that question. 17,544 miles per hour. Well, that's one hell of a speeding ticket. <laughs> be enough to figure the go, no go? Yeah, in theory, sir. We need to be past theory at this point. We'll be able to calculate a go, no go with that information. When exactly is that going to happen? <laughs> Catherine, are you looking at Catherine to answer? Catherine? Woo! Have a go at it. For re entry is 2,990 miles, 17,544 miles per hour. Distance is velocity squared, sun. And the distance would be 20 million or 2,900. Okay, so that puts your landing zone at 5.0667 degrees north. 77.3333 seven three 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 degrees west, right here. Give or take 20 square miles. I like your numbers. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's the math we don't have yet, gentlemen. We're working on it. 
Catherine? Well, we're just getting up to speed here, Mr. Harrison. Let's get ahead of this thing. I'm not paying you. Understood. Temporarily, yes. We need the IBM for Glenn's launch. The lead engineer says you're good with the cards, programming, and such. What about the girls here? Well, human computers can't calculate an orbital flight in the time we have. They'll stay put for now. I'm not accepting reassignment, unless I bring my ladies with me. Ooh. Excuse me? We're gonna need a lot of manpower to program that beast. I can't do it alone. My gals are ready. They can do the work. We've been reassigned. Leave your calculators. You won't need them where we're going. All right. Talk about union. What? Be prepared. To find the genius among those geniuses mm. to pull us all up. Mm. We all get to the peak together or we don't get there at all. Exactly, and you failed. You failed at your job. Yes. Well, good night, sir. I don't know what time I'm coming home. Class ends at nine. You can fill them with any weight that you want. You put the new lead in, and new pencil. I'm Mary Jackson's dream, <laughs> myself included. You gonna be late, I'll make it. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, tonight we discuss Planck Einstein. Wavelength. I'm Mary Jackson. I'm in a row. I don't see a colored section. Should I just take any seat? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Planck Einstein. Calculate launch and landing, but without this conversion, the capsule stays in orbit. We can't bring it back home. Something that looks at the problem numerically and not theoretically. Euler's method. Euler's method. Yes. That's ancient. That's it. Mm -hmm. Let's type it up. Oh, girl, your name should be there. You're working late today. I hear the IBM's up to full capacity. That's not my decision, ma'am. That would be the supervisor. Despite what you may think, I have nothing against y'all. I know you probably believe that. <laughs> Whatever you tell yourself at night <laughs> to make it easier to sleep, night, devil. Please don't tell me I missed someone's birthday. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, Mama. You all look so pretty. <laughs> Good evening, Catherine. Is he going to propose? So you're not oh, going to say God. anything? It's not my place. It's gonna okay, well, I'm not going to do this all night. Are you sad, Mama? No. It's okay, Mama. He's a good man. I know. This is my mother's ring. It's beautiful. The day I met you, I called my mother. I said, Mom, I met the woman I want to marry. What'd she say? She said she must be something, Jimmy, really something. Then what'd you say? I said, no. She's more than something. She's everything. I do. <laughs> I didn't ask you yet. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh, thank you. You wanted to see me, sir? Have a seat. In fact, our IBM is churning out numbers in fractions of the time any human can. And yes, the Cape's now insisting on doing all the backups down there on site. And truth be told, we can't keep up with that IBM anyhow. Are you firing her? Let's have you report back to the West Group for now. I'll see if we can find another assignment. It's out of my hands, if you can believe that. I understand. We heard you got engaged. Yes. It's thoughtful of you. Girls. They're lovely. Mr. Harrison's idea, really. No even send off, nothing, no, no cake, no celebration, no handshake, nothing. Like a ghost. I don't think I felt a thing the first time I did this. Just a little older. 
Mm. And a little fuller. <laughs> but you Today, three years, two months, then three days afterwards. Well, John Glenn will be the first American to orbit the Earth. Paul, something's off here. These landing coordinates don't match yesterday's. The, the, the IBM just ran them. Well, then the IBM's wrong yesterday. Right? Well, the damn thing's wrong today. Me. We're on the same page, John. Our guys are on it. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. I mean, she says they're good. I'm ready to go. Go find Catherine Goble. I mean, she needs to verify Glenn's go, no go, or we're staying on the ground. You're useful until you're not. Coordinates. All right, give us some space, so to work. Through many failed unmanned Atlas rocket tests and... Did John Glenn is ready to board the French Ship 7. But today we... Were yeah. We are being told that the mission control is so crucial to a safe and successful launch and recovery. After you... But let us say without reservation that the safety of... What the devil are you doing? Are you taking a break? Give it time. Bad 14. Catherine. Sir, we've got Pad 14 on the box. All right, let me in there. We can confirm the go no go point for re entry is the landing coordinates match. Well, that is very good news, Al. Good luck, Friendship 7. Godspeed, Langley. High above the Atlas rocket on pad 14. Go for launch. The Mercury spacecraft umbilical is out. Six, five. Roger that, Capcom. Go. Roger that, Friendship 7. I could use a coffee. Next tracking station coming up. Thankfully, the Friendship 7 capsule is... New assignment came down the pike. IPM Seems like they're gonna need a permanent team to feed that IBM. Thank you for the information, Mrs. Mitchell. Computers. Oh, we have a warning light. Capcom 7, I have a warning light. Stand by, 7. Please don't Sir, let him die. you have a warning light. Please don't let him die. Al, we need to get him down now. He could burn up on re-entry. There is a man in space, and we don't want to miss it, so we gotta Something's hurry. Something's wrong okay? with Glenn! He's in danger of losing its heat shield. Have you heard any banging noises? Tell them not to jettison the retro package. Yeah. Tell them not to jettison the retro package. The retro package straps might might hold it in place. Will that work? It will work. Do it. Uh, Friendship 7, we're recommending that the retro package not... Roger. Is there a reason for this? Over. Stand by, 7. Roger that command. I will make a manual 05G entry. A malfunction in the automatic control system is causing the spacecraft to yaw in a skid through the atmosphere at the designated point. And then the recovery area. You're going to be using fly-by wire for re-entry. Keep talking to him. Roger. The weather, the recovery area. Oh my god, it's on fire. There's a real Jesus, Jesus, please. Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. <laughs> Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. <laughs> Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. Roger that. Let's get you all the way home. 
Roger. Roger. Uh, approaching minus 165.2356 in three, two, one. Engaging shoots. Beautiful shoot. I have always wanted to swim in the Bahamas. Over. And is being recovered by the USS Noah. Nice work. You too, Mr. Harrison. We're already there, sir. Well, now they're shaking our hands. John Glenn. The one who said hello. That's why I liked him so much. Because he respected the black people and she... They, it was... They're an engineer, aeronautical, are you serious, and I think he's women's program manager. Went on to perform calculations for Apollo 2 mission to the moon and space shuttle into the moon. That's a dedicated to Kathy G. Johnson computational building in honor of her groundbreaking work in space <laughs> at the age of 97. <laughs> 56 years of marriage. <laughs> is the title to this movie hidden figures with regards to computational numbers and hidden figures like the being a figure the human being behind the power the the the, the underdogs the people behind the greatness you know every superhero has the person the power behind them the one giving them that push they were the hidden figures the hidden faces behind nasa the ones that were not recognized and then they were also the ones who search for the numbers, the ones who were who were to be replaced ended up being the one to save the day. What a beautiful, oh my goodness, Scott. Ugh, how fantastic is this story? 56 years, you know, his parents were married for 52 and he gave them their ring to bring them good luck. She met Obama. This isn't something that was, this is just when. 60, 61, 62, she was born in, not born in, but the story started in 26, right? How fantastic, how fantastic is this story that it's real? You have to go after your dreams. You have to fight for what you want. You can't just, because it's easy. People give up so easily these days. They give up so easily. They do, they do. Like my heart is pounding. They give up so easily. And if things don't come easy to you, you just feel like, okay, walk away from it, then what is the point? Fight for it, fight for it, put in the work, put in the work, put in the work. There are people that, they, they she pen and paper over and over and over and over again till she got it right. And we give up so easily. Oh goodness, look at me, I'm a mess. Thank you so much, Scott, for this request. Don't forget to subscribe. I love this movie. 110 over 10. 110 over 10. Oh. On to the next. On to the next. Huh.